There's a couple of realities about change in today's working environment. First of them is that change is no longer like it used to be, an, an occasional big disruptive change followed by long periods of stability. Today, pretty much every person is suffering some level of change fatigue because change is never ending. And as leaders, we have to stop telling people when change ends. We're selling a false promise. The other thing about change in today's working environment is that just because a change makes sense, just because it is logically good, doesn't mean people will cope with it. As we've discussed, people are suffering change fatigue. So even the most beneficial change, even a small change, can meet with what seems to be an unreasonable amount of resistance. And it's purely because we're dealing with change on a logical level and we're forgetting the whole emotional side of bringing people along on the change journey. Now by change, of course, we could mean an entire merger or acquisition. We could mean an entire buyout of an organisation. We could mean something more intermediate like a, a restructure of departments or of organisational charts. We could mean a more medium level change like a restructure or a merging of a couple of departments. We could even mean really minor change like implementing a new computer system or asking people to adopt a whole new policy, implementing a new set of values. It really doesn't matter what level the change is occurring on because people are constantly dealing with change when they hear about another one they'll roll their eyes. So all this means it's really important to give people the tools, the strategies, the skills to cope with change. Not just to sell them a logical change plan telling them how brilliant the change is going to be and the outcomes it's going to lead to. We have to deal with the human, the emotional level of change. Otherwise, the vast majority of change efforts will either fail or be significantly compromised. An activity like Archipelago is designed to take people away from their workplace realities and put them in a, an enjoyable, engaging situation. A situation that they become fully immersed in without thinking about the training message behind the activity. As they immerse in the activity, they forget about the workplace, they forget about the learning. And it's at that point that we start introducing changes and asking them to respond to those changes. The changes we introduce have a strong analogy. They're a very powerful metaphor for the changes they experience in the workplace. As we move through the activity, we ask people to adapt to those changes. And it's in the process of adapting, it's in the way that they deal with change that we create an experience that we can later reflect on in the debrief. The debrief really focuses on how they cope with change, how they felt during the change process, and provides tangible step-by-step -step strategies for them to deal more effectively with the changes they're facing in the workplace. Each participant walks away from their experience in Archipelago with a detailed plan for how they're going to apply what they've learned in the workplace. And the consequence is that they then deal with workplace change more effectively. Does it make workplace change painless? Absolutely not. But does it help them continue through the process of adapting? Definitely. The last thing we want for our people is for them to get stuck in the change process at an unhealthy point. And Archipelago is a powerful tool in unsticking them. I love the hands-on practical side of what we do. It's really um, interactive and, and a good experience. It's really good to work in a pressure situation like that. Then you're walking backwards yes. and you're looking at what you've lost instead of where you're going. I, that was a big tell for me.